Hi, my loves. I hope everyone is doing well today. Guys, today I will be doing a DIY, recreating a Z Gallery high-end Aspar wall sconce for you today. Now, currently it's selling on Z Gallery for $38.99 a piece. It's usually $49.95. Now, the measurements are they are five width, five and a half deep, and 33 inches high. Now, guys, I like to recreate items as close as possible as I can because, first of all, I am on a budget, and second of all, I just love doing DIYs and just making things to look as they are just to see if I can. So... Guys, today I'm going to show you how I made it for $4.75 just by looking for things around my home. Now guys, these are the items that I'm going to be using. So I hope you will enjoy the video. So right here I am taking the paper off of my Christmas paper roll and I will be measuring and my roll is exactly 30 inches. So I'm gonna try to cut a straight line straight down the roll. So now I'm taking my turkey baster and I'm going to push it up in my roll so the whole piece will end up measuring 33 inches. Now I'm just squeezing my roll together around that turkey baster. And I will glue this piece down and I will do that going up the whole roll but you must hold it tight so you can make sure that it's even So here I'm cutting all the frayed pieces and trying to even out my seam as best I can and as smoothly as I can. So now I'm going to be adding my um, top on and this is from my candle. Now I'll be taking my plunger and removing the stick and I have this little cardboard disc that I cut out and this just to help the glue and the block adhere to it.
So now I will be adding tape and that's just to hold it in place and so it won't slide around. Now I'll be adding my cardboard disc for the bottom and this is the part that's going to go up on the wall. So this is what I'll be using to make sure that it sits on the wall flat. Now that that has all dried, I'm going to be measuring seven inches down where my block is. And I'm going to make sure that this seam is sitting right on the block because this will be in the back so it won't be seen anyway. Okay, so now I am spray painting it with my white spray paint, but you can skip this step. I'm just doing it because I want my metallic paint to pop more. And now I'm going over it with the metallic paint and I only have to do one coat. Okay guys, so here they are up on the wall and I think they came out beautifully. They are definitely statement pieces. What do you think, guys? Leave me a comment down below if you liked it, this DIY. And also, they kind of remind me of the medieval in the castle top, um, type of torches like back then. And I really love that look. So, guys, don't forget if you like this video... Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, my loves. Mm -hmm.